Step one, wake up, brother, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be. Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. So today we are going to make this lovely puppy bookmark. So I have listed the materials at the beginning of the video, and I've also the uh, linked. Um, links in the description below if you want to know where to get the yarn and everything that i use for this project okay so get your materials ready and let's get started okay so we're going to start with the magic ring and then we'll do six single crochets into the magic ring so we'll do one two Three, four, five, and six. Okay, and then I'll pull the yarn to close the gap and place my marker over here. So now in the second row, we are going to increase each stitch around for a total of 12 stitches so i'll go into the next stitch and do two single crochets in the same stitch again go into the next stitch and do two single crochets in the same stitch and same increase in the next stitch Increase in the fourth stitch and increase in the fifth stitch. And increase in the last stitch. Okay, so now in the third row we are going to do single crochet then increase and repeat that all the way around for a total of 18 stitches so we'll go and do single crochet then increase in the next stitch and repeat so single crochet then increase Okay, so increase and you're going to keep repeating that all the way round okay now in the fourth round we're going to do two single crochets then increase and repeat that all the way round for a total of 24 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two and increase in the next stitch and repeat single crochet one single crochet two and increase and we're going to keep repeating that all the way round okay so now in the fifth round we're going to do three single crochets then increase and we're going to repeat that all the way around for a total of 30 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two 
free and increase and we're going to repeat that so three single crochets one two three and increase okay and we're going to keep repeating that all the way round okay so now in the sixth round we are going to do four single crochets then increase and repeat that all the way round for a total of 36 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three four and increase and repeat so four single crochets and increase and repeat that all the way round Okay, so now in the seventh round, we're going to do five single crochets, then increase and repeat that all the way around for a total of 42 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet one, two, three, four, five, and increase in the next stitch. and repeat so single crochet one two three four five and increase and we are going to repeat that all the way round okay so after we're done with round uh, seven now from round eight until round 13 which is for the next six rounds we're going to do six uh, we're going to do single crochets all the way around in each round for a total of 42 stitches in each round so in the next round which is round eight we're just going to do single crochet in every stitch all the way round okay so continue doing single crochets all the way until you get to round 13 and then we'll start the 14th round together okay so guys after the 13th round this is how our little puppy head looks like so now from the next round which is the 14th round we're going to start decreasing so we're going to do five single crochets then decrease and repeat that all the way around for a total of 36 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three four five and then decrease so we are going to go into the front loop of the next stitch then pull through and then go into the back stitch of the next stitch and pull through so we have three loops on the hook so we'll pull through all the three loops okay so that's one decrease and then we are going to repeat again so five single crochets then decrease so one two three four five and decrease and we're going to keep repeating that all the way round okay so now in the 15th round we're going to do four single crochets then decrease 
and repeat that all the way around for a total of 30 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three four and then decrease so decrease and repeat so for single crochets and decrease And we're going to keep repeating that all the way round okay so now in the 16th round we're going to do three single crochets then decrease and repeat that all the way round for a total of 24 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two Three and decrease and repeat three single crochets and decrease. And repeat that all the way round okay so now in the 17th round we're going to do two single crochets then decrease and repeat that all the way round for a total of 18 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two and decrease and repeat so two single crochets and decrease and we'll keep repeating that all the way to the end okay so guys after you're done with the 17th round make sure you stuff the head because the next round is going to be the last round of the head okay so now the 18th round we are going to do single crochet then decrease and we are going to repeat that all the way around six times for a total of 12 stitches so we're going to do single crochet and decrease And we're going to keep repeating that so single crochet and decrease and repeat all the way round Okay, so now after we get to the end, 
we're going to start making the bookmark part so i just remove my marker and then i'll flatten the two edge the two uh parts like this of the head so we'll have stitches on this side and six stitches on the other side so i'll start from the very end and from here uh in both the stitches i'll do single crochet all the way through okay and then in the next two stitches i'll do another single crochet two and i'll continue all the way to the end so another one three and then four five and the last one six okay so when i get to the end i'll do a chain one and turn and then again i'll continue to do single crochet all the way to the end and then do single crochet and turn okay and then sorry do chain one and turn and then we'll do again six single crochets when you get to the end do chain one and turn and continue doing single crochets all the way through so you'll continue like this until you attain the length of the bookmark that you want so you can use any any book to attain the length that you want and then after that we'll make the arms and the legs Okay, so I'm done making the bookmark part as you can see so I made mine to about nine inches okay so that fits my book that I want to use it on so I'm going to finish up and I'll do a chain one and then I'll cut off the yarn like that okay and then I'll leave it like that and uh, I'll do the finish up later when I'll put the legs okay so now let's start making the arms okay so for the arms we're going to start with the magic ring and we'll do five single crochets into the magic ring so we'll do one two three four and five and then i'll pull off the yarn to close the gap like that okay so now to the second row uh and in this round we are going to increase every stitch around for a total of 10 single crochets okay so i'll just go to the next uh, stitch and increase so i'll do two single crochets in the same stitch okay so increase also in the second stitch increase in the third stitch and increase in the fourth stitch
and increase in the last stitch. Okay, so now after we're done with that, for the next three rounds, which is from round three until round five, we are going to do single crochets all the way in each round for a total of 10 stitches in each round. So I'll see when you're done with the fifth round so that we start the sixth round together. Okay, so after the fifth round, this is how our little arm looks like. So now in the sixth round, we're going to do single crochet, then decrease, and we're going to repeat that three times for a total of seven stitches. So we're going to do single crochet and then decrease. And we repeat that again. So single crochet and decrease. And one last time, we'll do single crochet and decrease. And then we'll do single crochet in the last stitch. So we have a total of seven stitches. So we're not going to stuff our arm, so it's okay because it's sturdy enough. So now for the next uh, five rounds, which is from round seven until round 11, we're going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of seven stitches in each round. Okay, so continue doing single crochets until you get to the 11th round and then we'll finish up together. Okay, so now after the 11th round, this is how our arm looks like. So now we're going to finish off the arm and we're going to flatten both sides and we'll do three single crochets to the end. Okay, so we'll do single crochet on both sides. one and then single crochet two and single crochet three then we'll cut off the yarn long enough for sewing okay so after that we'll start making the legs okay so for the legs we're going to use the dark chocolate yarn and we'll start by making a chain five so we'll do chain one two three four and five and then starting in the second chain from the hook we'll do single crochet in the next three stitches so we'll do single crochet one single crochet two and single crochet three and then here in the last chain of this round we are going to do three we are going to do three single crochets in the same stitch okay so we are going to do single crochet one and then in the same stitch we'll do another single crochet and then we'll do the third single crochet in the same stitch okay and then we'll turn to the other side and in the other side we'll do single crochet in the next two stitches okay so single crochet And single crochet in the next stitch ok 
okay and then we'll increase in the last stitch over here so we'll do an increase Okay, so in the first round we'll have 10 stitches. Okay, so I'll place my marker over here. Now in the second round we're going to start by increasing. Okay, so we'll increase. And then we'll do single crochet in the next two stitches so we'll do single crochet and then single crochet in the next stitch and then we'll increase in the next three stitches so increase and increase in the next stitch and increase also in the third stitch and then we'll do single crochet in the next two stitches so single crochet single crochet and then we'll increase in the remaining two stitches so increase and increase in the last stitch okay so now we have a total of 16 stitches so now for the next two rounds which is round three and round four we're going to do single crochets all the way around in each round for a total of 16 stitches so I'll see you when you're done with the fourth round and then we'll do the fifth round together. Okay, so now after we're done with the fourth round, this is how our little leg looks like. So now in the fifth round, we are going to start by doing single crochets in the next four stitches. So we'll do single crochet one, two, three, and four and then we'll decrease three times so we'll decrease one decrease again the second time and decrease the third time Okay, and then after that we'll do single crochet in the next four stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three four and then we'll decrease the last time So now we have a total of 12 stitches okay so then we're going to stuff a little bit okay so I'm going to put a little bit of stuffing just a little bit like that Okay, and now in the sixth round, which is the last round of the leg, we are going to decrease all the way around, so we'll have six stitches. So we are going to decrease okay, and decrease again. And we're going to continue decreasing to the end.
okay so when we get to the end i'm going to remove my marker then i'll slip stitch and cut off the yarn long enough for sewing like that okay so now we're going to start making the ears Okay, so for the ears, we're going to start with six single crochets into the magic ring. So, one, two, three, four, five, and six okay then i'll pull the yarn to close the gap and place my marker over here now in the second round we're going to increase all the way around for a total of 12 stitches okay so i'll increase in the next stitch And increase again in the second stitch increase in the third stitch increase in the fourth stitch then increase in the fifth stitch and increase in the last stitch okay so now in the third round we are going to do single crochet in the next three stitches then increase and we'll repeat that three times for a total of 15 stitches so we'll do single crochet one single crochet single crochet two single crochet three and then increase and we'll repeat that again two more times so three single crochet increase and three single crochet increase okay so now after we are done with that now for the next three rounds which is from round four until round six we're going to do single crochets all the way around for a total of 15 stitches in each round so I'll see you when you're done with the sixth round so that we start the seventh round together okay so now after the sixth round this is how uh, our ear looks like so now in the seventh round we're going to start decreasing and we'll do three single crochet then decrease and we'll repeat that all the way around for a total of 12 stitches so we'll do single crochet one single crochet two single crochet three and then decrease and we'll repeat that two more times so we'll do three single crochet decrease and then again three single crochet and decrease okay so now after that in the eighth round we are going to do two single crochets then decrease and then we'll repeat that again two more times for a total of nine stitches so we'll do single crochet one single crochet two and decrease and we'll repeat that two more times so two single crochets and decrease
and then again two more uh, two single crochets and decrease okay so now after we are done with that in the next two rounds which is round nine and round ten we're going to do single crochets in each round for a total of nine stitches okay so do single crochets for the next two rounds and then i'll see you when you're done with the tenth round and we'll finish up together okay so now after we're done with the tenth round i'm going to remove my marker then i'll flatten both uh, the two sides and i'll do four single crochets across both sides okay so i'll do single crochets going through both sides one and then another single crochet two then another single crochet three and the last single crochets Okay, then I'll do a chain one and cut off the yarn long enough for sewing and then after that now we're going to make the muzzle okay so for the muzzle we are going to use the beige yarn and we're going to start by making a chain five so we'll do chain one two three four and five and then starting in the second chain from the hook we are going to increase the first stitch okay and then we're going to do single crochet in the next two stitches one and then single crochet Okay, and then we'll do three single crochets in the last stitch so we'll do single crochet and another single crochet in the same stitch and the third single crochet in the same stitch okay and then we'll turn to the other side and then we'll do single crochet in the next three stitches so we'll do single crochet single crochet and single crochet in the last stitch of this round okay so now I'll take my marker and place it over here now in the second round we are going to do single crochet in the next stitch okay and then we'll increase in the next stitch then we'll do single crochet in the next two stitches and increase in the next stitch then we'll do single crochet in the next stitch and increase in the next stitch then single crochet in the next two stitches and increase in the last stitch
okay so now in the third round we are going to do single crochets in all the stitches so we'll have a total of 14 stitches okay so continue and do single crochet all the way round Okay, so when you get to the end, I'm going to remove my marker, then I'll slip stitch and cut off the yarn long enough for sewing. Okay, so now I have all my parts together. I have the muzzle, I have uh, two ears, I have two legs over here, and my two arms. And then I have the body. Okay, so now let's put all the parts together. Okay, so guys, as you can see, I've already finished joining all the parts together. So first, uh, what I did is I joined the arms, and the arms I joined it uh, direct, uh, just below the head, over here, uh, straight, and also on this other side. And the legs, I also put them uh, at the very end, both sides of the bookmark, like that, as you can see, okay? And then after that, I joined the ears, and I counted one, two, three, and in the fourth, um, fourth round from the top, that's where I placed the ear, and also the other one, one, two, three, and in the fourth round, that's where I place my ears, okay? And then after that, I um, I uh, placed my the muzzle just, uh, I counted from here, the bottom, one, two, three, four, and in the fifth stitch from the bottom, that's where I stitched the muzzle, as you can see. And then I placed uh, the eyes, just uh, the row above the muzzle, over here and also on the other side and embroidered the little eyebrows over here and also I embroidered the little mouth with a black yarn as you can see okay and that's it guys as you can see this is how it looks like after we are done I hope you enjoyed this video if you have questions you can ask in the comments below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Until next time, bye.